Do you know it's been more than 2000 years since firecrackers have been around? From there onwards till now, be it a festival or a grand function, we see firecrackers lighting up the sky and our eyes watching them with awe. But have you ever thought why firecrackers excite us? Well, there's a lot of biology into it. Let me tell you, one of the main reason for our excitement is controlled fear. Let's understand this with an example. Skydivers, they jump out of a plane, there will be fear. Yes, lots of it. And it's very risky too. But at the same time, thrilling indeed, as there is a parachute. It's impossible to imagine someone jumping out without a parachute. It's madness. Now, the scary act of jumping out of a plane when controlled with parachute give you a thrill and happiness. And something similar happens in a case of firecrackers too. When a person lights a firecracker, it creates a moment of controlled fear. It's like suspense before a thrilling event almost similar to the anticipation before a jump. There's a gradual buildup of excitement and suspense as the lit firecracker prepares to explode. The mind experiences a mix of emotion during this period. And when the firecrackers finally explodes, the blast triggers the amygdala, the brain fear and emotion detector, setting off an early warning system. And post the explosion, when there is a spectacular display of color and sound, your brain reward center releases dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical that regulates pleasure. It makes us feel good. So, it's not just about the fear, but it's about pleasure too. Additionally, our body kicks into fight or flight mode with the release of adrenaline, increasing the heart rate, blood pressure and respiration. All of it contribute into the thrills of watching fireworks. And now you know why we feel good watching or busting firecrackers. But if firecrackers are so good, why government are figuring out ways to regulate them? Well, because firecrackers release chemicals like sulfur dioxide and particulate matter. Sulfur dioxide makes it hard to breathe for all living beings, while heavy metals like lead are toxic for our nervous system. And perchlorate in some of the fireworks contaminate water resources. These chemicals land in water bodies and soil, contaminating lakes, harming aquatic life, affecting plants and animals, and eventually disrupting the balance of the ecosystem. It's like a chain reaction impacting everything around them. So, let's not forget to celebrate responsibly and keep our health and our environment in mind. So now you know about the firecrackers and its effect on our body. If you like this new information, you will love the next Baiju's Science Studio episode on fireworks. Link is in the description box. Don't forget to click on the notify me button so that you don't forget to join it on 24th of November at 7pm. Keep learning. Stay tuned.